Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I'm going to talk about here is when it comes to this year's election, I feel like with the way that the Democrats are politicizing the whole crisis here is definitely going to cost them. And we're already seeing the effects about that sort of stuff. Now, yeah. even though I haven't really watched um, Tim Pool's latest video yet, but I can pretty much could speculate that the Democrats are utterly clueless about why is Trump um, approval rating going up and all that. And I think the truth of the matter is, is that is that they're politicizing the whole matter rather than working with Trump, you know, as far as that goes. So it just makes me kind of wonder, I mean, why they had to do this sort of thing there, you know, and it's not going to win any favors for that matter. But considering all of that, um, Tim Pool had had cited uh, something similar that happened uh, uh, decades ago when it came to like Republicans winning on large margins. It was the nineteen seventy two election when it was like Nixon versus McGovern, and how McGovern only like won his home state and that was it, and Nixon had won by a landslide. You know, and something similar happened to Reagan back in '84 that he won by a considerable landslide against um, what's his name, um, Walter Mondale. You know, and I think I forgot what happened here. I think it was like Mondale only like maybe won. Two states, and I'm not exactly sure, but I know he like won his home state of Minnesota, and I think it might have been like West Virginia was the other state that went to Mondale. I don't really exactly remember there, but plus I wouldn't really exactly remember that election, anyways, because I was what um, three when that happened. So I wouldn't really wouldn't really remember that state. I mean that election there. You know what I mean? But as far as that goes, I mean I do remember like the eighty eight election a little bit. And then ninety two definitely as well as ninety six because I was about uh seven when they had the 88 election, and I was about 11 when they had the 92 election, and I was about 15 when they had the 96 election, you know, and I was about 19 when they had the 2000 election, and that was the first uh, presidential election that I voted in, as far as that goes, and... Considering all that, I voted for Bush, I think, back in 2000, simply because they didn't really care much for Gore, you know? And plus, I didn't really want to have um, Tipper Gore, Queen of Censorship, as First Lady, you know? So that was one of the things. So, anyways... Um, as far as that goes, um, considering that it was kind of a lot different how you vote in the elections at that time. It was like, if I think Orange County had like the paper ballot system, and that system was like worked on like those little punch card thingies, you know. Not like the, the the infamous butterfly ballots that were that were back in the uh what was it like in um 
Florida that year. So anyways, it was like, after you were given your ballot, it's like they, they come in like these little sheets. And so then you have to insert it into a hole punching device. And then you had to line them up to, to like, and then press like the button in order to like to punch a hole for your selection there. And then after you're done, you go around and put in the other side of the card there as well and then go to the next one and go to the next one and then you're you're done so anyways i think that was like was there till maybe around like oh three i think or maybe it was oh four because like oh four was when they started that dre device there that they use for um for the for the elections there and i think i had used it a couple times where after you're giving your name then you're given like a passcode then you, then you have to rotate the wheel in order to enter the numbers for the passcode and then you make like your selections by rotating wheels and then and and then you have to do the different pages on those. And then and then after that, I think when you're done, then you press like the button that says cast a ballot. And then you're finished. And then I think as far as like the vote by mail system, I think I did that like a, a few times with the vote by mail. And it's a lot uh, simpler than that because all you had to do was just use like a pen like a black or a blue ink pen to uh, fill in little squares and then make sure you do all the sides there and then seal it up and then you're done you know but as far as like the new system it was done like where you have to make your selections through the touch screens and all that and then after that, then you print the ballot, and then you kind of like, you know, and then uh, place it through the little scanner or something like that. You know, I think that's how it was done. But as far as the time when I was living in Texas, there, you know, and I voted in the 04 presidential election there, and all you really had to do was they would give you like a your ballot and then you have like a little black marker to just to mark in your selections and all that and then when you're done you just simply have to get in line and feed it into the machine and that was it you know so that was kind of like one of the little things at this point but considering the whole thing here the whole uh primary process could be delayed a, a bit as far as that goes since ohio had delayed their primary and all that and we're supposed to have like maybe a couple of other primaries coming in the, in a few weeks as far as that goes and depending on how things are going to be you know that's just another thing there but I'll probably have to talk about some other stuff in regards to this sort of thing later, but considering as far as all of that, you know, I guess that's probably it until next time. So talk to you guys later.